That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Cake? Yeah, I gotta stop myself from eating too much of your cake. Dude, you ate like... Wow! That was like a minute of you eating that cake. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, guys, so... Actually, I'm the focus of this video. Yeah, um, I got a bum knee. We got Wicked by Gregory McGuire. Wait, what are you doing? Don't worry about it. Um, this is Half Price Books Haul. Um, so all of these were super cheap, especially because books nowadays are like at least $20. All of these were under 10 I believe. So more than Half Price Books. Yeah. <laughs> And then, so we got Wicked by Gregory Maguire, and the cover's really cool, because it's like a window into there. And you then we show got, it closer. It's really nice cover art. I read that book. I love that book. Yes, Mama. We are, this is the book we came to the bookstore for. Um, no, it was the one de uh, DJ suggested to you. Yes, hold on. We'll get to that. Well, this is the secondary one that we came to the bookstore for. Like, we knew we were going to get this before we came there, and all the other ones, no. So then we got another Gregory Maguire book, After Alice. And this one also has a really cool cover because the dust cover is, like, kind of transparent, so you can see the actual cover through it. What? Let me see. Look. Because this is just white, like, the dust cover. Let's see. I didn't realize that. Holy shit, that's cool. I know. So apparently this guy has the best covers. Um, and then we also got... How much was that one? $21. Was it really? Yes. I was wondering why it was so expensive. So this one was not 21 Or this one was not... Um, super cheap like all the other ones guys where did the okay. and then we got to kill a mockingbird by by harper lee um and then this is what we actually came here for hold on i need that receipt We got Cinder by Marissa Meyer, and this is the book that DJ recommended. Um, also, some really cool cover art. Oh! The Lunar Chronicles. It's, it's the first in series. Um, yeah, DJ only reads, like, young adult sagas. So, it goes Cinder, Scarlet, and Cress. When is Percy Jackson coming out again? DJ we got us on to Percy book. Jackson, too. And that. Uh, this one we stumbled upon as if it were fate. Because um, it's instructions for a funeral with a yellow envelope in the shape of a coffin by David Means. And it's got the purple background. And so this book is built for me because I am fascinated by death and everything related to it. And I also have a strange fascination with envelopes. Don't ask me why, I don't know. I just really like them a lot. And I have a collection in the other room. It's intense. And then purple's my favorite color. So this book is literally just built for me. Um, and I was destined to read it ever since. Uh, Didn't you meet, who's that YouTuber? Caitlin Dowdy. And let, let me show you guys, hold on. All right, we're just gonna. Yep, now we get to see our messy desk area. <coughs> this uh, is kind of embarrassing. I don't know if I'm going to post this. Do, 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 I don't know if I'm going to be able to go to work tomorrow, dude. My leg is so fucked. Is this kid ever going to come back? Why are you panning around our shitty room? It's at least better over there. You got some art and stuff. That's my Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame. Hello. I'm back. Oh, the camera was facing. Well, I was waiting. We were waiting for a minute. But okay. It's all good. You're good. So, this is the first edition of Will My Cat Eat My Eyeballs that I purchased. 
I bought this at the like book tour for it. So I met Caitlin Dowdy, and oh, you were like six or seven, right? I was eight. Eight. Okay. I'll get to that. Okay. So she said specifically that for the book signings in the book signing line, it kept being said that she was not doing personalized signatures at all. And then I was towards the end of the line, and I was the one of the only children there. But the important, like, the main thing about this book is that she's answering questions asked by children. Like, it's a Q&A, but only children are asking the questions. So I also got to ask her a question while she was on stage. What was your question? My question was, when I die, can I have my hands cut off and made into jewelry for my family? And then have the rest of my body be buried naturally. And... She said that currently, that is not really an option, because the main three options are, um, cremation, burial, or donation of your body. But, this book is kind of scuffed up because I've had it since I was eight. But, with saying that she wasn't going to do personalized signatures, she wrote, Abby, to future corpses of all ages, my favorite morbid eight-year-old. And drew a skull. Yep, pretty nice. And this made my week, bro. Like, ah, oh, yes. And then... Don't let your children watch her Donner Party video. It's a really <laughs> interesting video. It is. And it's really cool. So you, you might not like the consequences. You definitely will let your children <laughs> watch her Donner Party video. Really, Skull Cups is the goat, though. Um, and then we also got the soft cover, which has a different cover art. Why do you have two copies? Because she told me that maybe she would put my question into the soft cover version when it released. Did she? Because no. the hard cover was already, uh, like, set or whatever. So, I would imagine she didn't put your question in because she did not. it, uh... It's very it's specific. It's pretty fucked up. It's pretty, uh... Pretty... It's definitely not the most fucked up thing in this book. Um, <laughs> Maybe I get out. I feel like it's not far off from can I keep my parents' skulls when they die. You can. Well, there's some legal stuff involved that you would have to kind of get around. Um, Do you want my skull? Yeah, yes. you're going to make a skull cup out of it. You probably have to have, like documents and stuff signed before they died yeah then the other issue arises because i've reread this book like Wait, eight i thought times. you were gonna make, keep my skeleton and decorate me for holidays yeah we're gonna put like yeah. a santa hat on you and stuff but then the issue arises because it's like you can get around the legal stuff with enough documents and paperwork and all that but the issue arises whenever you're trying to get it to be a skeleton and not just a dead body. Um. Because they, they can do that, obviously. You would use the beetles. Um. Beetles. Alright, keep going. I don't need a... And. But the issue is, where do you get the beetles? Because you're not donating the body to science. So you'd have to pay, like, a lot of money or something, probably. For the flesh-eating beetles? Uh-huh. So, we'd have to arrange for flesh-eating beetles first, and then have all the documents signed to make sure everything's uh, not in a legal gray area or whatever. This half-price books haul took a dark turn. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, went off the rails. That's... Well, we're talking to me here. <laughs> and now it's a mukbang. <laughs> Three hours and five pounds of guacamole later. I did make five pounds of guacamole yesterday. I was mashing the shit out of that. Oh my god. Mama makes the goaded guacamole. You should make a video about that. It's just guacamole, dude. If you can't figure out how to make guacamole, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> That's real, but like, you make it different. Dude, I was just thinking about this. I was like, I really gotta start cooking to try to make Dylan some stuff. And then I was just like, oh god, I don't want to cook. 
Now it's getting colder, though. I'm more open to it. I'm definitely not doing it in the summertime. I hate I hate it. It's too goddamn hot in the summertime. It is. So, um, are you done with your whatever the fuck this is? <laughs> Hold on. You should turn it into crash or eating cake mukbang. How did you eat half that cake in like one minute? One bite after another. I feel like you didn't even have enough time to like scoop it with a fork. I feel like you were just like, um, um, that's Crasher's POV at eating this cake. Mouth to cake. What are you eating? Are you eating your little weird balls, huh? What are your little balls? The reason it turned into a mukbang is because Mama decided to film a to film this during snack time. What did I do? Decided to film it during snack time? No, what I decided to do was, is I was upset that I spent $50 on books and I find them on your bedroom floor. And then I was telling your dad about them yesterday and I was like, I don't remember half the books I bought them. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Can I use human bones from a cremation as jewelry? That's pretty close to what I want. You can do that. Yeah. Your head is so big I can barely fit it into the frame. Anyway, let's get Crash or taking a bite out of this cake. You do that, just do one bite. You know you want to. Another one is we eat dead chickens, why not dead people? So I don't think my question is that fucked up, Mama. I don't even want to bring up where this is going to lead, so we're just going to... Donner, okay. Donner party. Donner party. So the Donner party... No! <laughs> no! <laughs> We weren't inviting you to tell us about the Donner Party video. <laughs> yes, you were. No, 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 no. We could do another video for that later. I want to make guys. Some... We gotta link it in the in the description. Maybe my mom will link that video in the description. I would if I knew how to do that. I don't know. This is I'll very... do it for you. All right. Well, we're posting this tomorrow because I already posted my Costco haul today. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So now we gotta remember. So if it's not linked in the description, it will be linked in, in the top comment. I don't know how to do that either. I know how to do it, Mama. Why are you running my channel? I don't know. Because you're a bum, that's why. All right, well. Obviously, you're the bum when it comes to technology. Obviously, I am the bum because I can't even fucking walk. I go to the fucking... I posted a video, Maddie Rants. And... It was on my way to the orthopedic doctor. And he gave me a shot in my knee. Crash, where did he give me my shot at? Just right. point it out. Like right under your kneecap on the side. Ah! Like here. We go. Right about here. But on the other one. And it felt great. It felt great on Saturday. It was sore on Friday. It felt great on Saturday. It felt good half of the day yesterday, and me and Abby get back from this movie, and I'm, like, organizing some shit in the kitchen, and my fucking knee just gives out. And then it gives out again. And then it's, like, flopping, like, all loosey-goosey. Uh, when I'm walking, like, all mushy feeling and stuff like that, and now today I can barely walk on it. It hurts more than it did before. So I'm fucked. I gotta love it. Right, anyway, babe? What? Caitlin Let's Dowdy tell me the story. By Caitlin Dowdy books. They're really good. You should do, like, a, where you put a smoking jacket on it and you, we put that in a leather-bound book to make it look extra fancy. And you're sitting in a leather chair and mahogany, and you do a review on this book. And then talk about how you want to eat a square inch of human flesh. Don't tell the YouTube that. Well, it's going on this video. No. Obviously, Donner Party videos are on there. It looks like you're eating right by my feet. Could you, like, not do that? It doesn't bother you that my feet are like a foot away from you while you eat? No. No, it does not. 
That's actually not the closest feet have been to me while I've been eating before. What are you talking about? <laughs> Ava gets really up close and personal while we're eating Popeyes at her house. Wow. Have you ever take a bite and think it's your chicken and it turns out no. to be her toe? You have bread and tootsies, bro. <laughs> Oh, Abby's eating human toes. Just a nibble of Ava's toe. Big toe ass story. Ava, oh, if you see Ava without her boot on, you guys, you got to make her put it on. She has a sprained ankle now. And she has to wear a boot. And I, you would have thought that she was an angry cat with Nana telling me this over the phone. She was like screeching. <laughs> She's like, if you see Ava without a boot on her foot, you gotta boot her ass. <laughs> Dang. Because she refuses to wear Bro, it. Bro, why'd you eat so much of my cake? That's you what I just now are noticing this? I said I had to stop myself or I was gonna eat too much of your cake. Dude, I don't understand how you ate it. You like opened it and then put it down. <laughs> Yeah, like, bro. You opened it and then we're all like, oh, you had oh. You for like 30 seconds and you <laughs> Show, just do one <laughs> bite. That's why I stopped Yo, myself. Look what my no, mom because bought. if I break back. Oh, yeah, the, I, those, I had to send Dylan back down to the car to get those. If I break back into it, it's not, it's just, it's not going to be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> just take one bite. That's the problem. If I take one more bite, it's not going to be here anymore. One is too many and a thousand is never enough, mama. Apparently your dad knows how to get down on some cake. Guys, look at this Aldi cake. Apparently Abby eats this for breakfast a lot at my sister's house. Not anymore. She doesn't <laughs> buy it anymore, but whenever she lived in the yellow house, she did. You need to start reminding her of it then. Hey, Donna, remember that breakfast cake we used to eat all the time? <laughs> wasn't eating that all the time. I was the only one who was having cake for well, breakfast. She likes it though, so if you mention, hey, remember that chocolate cake from Aldi? You know. Have you had that brand before? This brand? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Alright, well, sign me out. <laughs> or dance me out. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't take a bite. 